Hi, ye folks, it's Ranslash. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. This time, I don't know what kind of day is planning in front of us, but we're gonna find it out soon enough. I just came back from eating dinner and all. Got the taste of lasagna in my mouth. And we're not even Monday! If you got the reference. Anyway, let's go up off for bed. It's a new day ahead. Let's see what the intranet says. Angus has some insight or not. Oh, oh yes. Away message. Come pick your fight, give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. I'm going to see the blank tones next week. Hey kid! Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Yep, that's pretty typical. Hello, my pickaxe said it me. You know the drill. The message of the day, science beat. New research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. Hmm, apparently. <laughs> Isn't that nice jerky do? All right. Let's go see the things outside for first. Hmm, what's this? Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. I swear I always hear like something behind that door. Anyway. Hey bird! Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Nothing else? Alright, good. Let's go. May come here for a second. I always have time for my mama. Good morning. Where's my little sunshine daisy? Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Ank. Oh, jeez, mom, it's fine. It is very much not fine, hon. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby, and I'm making you an appointment. My hon, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house. I'm just so sorry you, we, wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. My, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. It's done, it's done. And we're a family together, regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure that you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it do you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. <laughs> okay, hon. Uh, please take it easy. I will. Love you. I love you too. What up next? I keep the real good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. Help from Mama! Okay. Is that like the cue to go up there? Is that like their bed? Okay, I was just wondering. Bless this mess! Oh, God! Indeed. What do you want? Hello to you too, my. Well, I wanted to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested in it, is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle aged man, a medium build. And he was dead when, I, when it was removed. Whoa. That means... it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you would like to know. I always liked detective stories when we were a kid. Oh yeah, thanks. 
My ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Was there no ghost involved in this? Whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, my strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, mate. Sure, Aunt Molokop. Ah! Nosey Chi. Eh. Anyway, hello, Summers! Jeez, my, are you sick? No. Just tired, got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, sir. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night, a night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. You noticed anything like weird around here lately? Weird as in missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But you weren't a kid in it no more. Maybe someone else, but but from another town. I'm sure I'll remember. You know, I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get a cold soon. You know? Now that Summers mentioned it, she mentioned Casey a, a bit. And we... We seem to question about Casey a little bit since the last uh, last day. I'm beginning to doubt that Casey is probably the the kidnapper or the ghost. I don't know. I'm beginning to think that. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Later, I will punch you in the face, mister. Last seen at dusk on June, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey. Wearing black hooded sweatshirt, jeans, black canvas, shoes. Do you have any information that's clear in the night at any time? Let's contact Ponson Street Police Department immediately. This is where we saw the the ghosts running along. See what I mean where, where I'm telling that Casey may be the ghost or something? You know, scary stories. Yeah, that's where I'm getting at. Hello, you. Will Tunnel Fish be always there? Will Tunnel Dream Camel be Bear? I would miss the Tunnel Fish. If you have them back, would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, no, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please, please don't listen! Well, we saw you at the poetry stand in the library last day. <gasps> I can't... I can't get the pretzels! Does that mean there are sis there's something happening with the rats? Miracle rats! We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Oh! Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, my. Bruce is going home. He. What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I, I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, Mai. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. See what's going on with Mama! Hello? Mama! See? You can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. 
becomes such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hon, can I do anything? Not really. Love you! What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo? <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got your picture, too. Love you, sweetie. You told mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of views these days. But it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, yeah, I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now. <gasps> so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Yes. Yes. We did it. We finally can go. What's in there? Hmm, there's only the couch. Grandpa? That's cute. It's our grandfather. But that's it? Eh? Uh, hello? What, what did I got kicked out of the church all of a sudden? Is it going to happen again? I don't think it will. Oh well. That was, uh, that was something. I think that was our grandfather. Or granddad, as they would say. The guy is not there anymore. Oh, oh, that's getting interesting. Hey, buddy, you okay? Yeah, I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine and some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. Hmm 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 okay? Hmm 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 hmm. Ah, sorry, spaced out there for a second. You should like see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. All right, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably? Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Rip. Oh, Ripperino. I'm still the queen of the world! <gasps> oh my god! Rats! Oh my god, rats! Are they alive? I think they are. Oh, goody gosh. Look at all these rats! My babies have left the nest. They're all over the place!
They're all over the place. Rats! Okay. Well, I guess that's that's the achievement to getting them all the pretzels and stuff. Angus, my boy, I'm getting tired for no reason. I don't know. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did, indeed. I'm so tired. I'm gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You're for this park trip? Uh, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. I need to do some other stuff first. Hello? Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed the new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Kids excited? Oh yeah, they love it. Might take a while. Yeah. Well, yep. Yep. Maybe just one more, huh? Yep, one more. Go smelters! Yep. Go smelty smelters. What's in the news? Bears flying so early this year. What does that mean? They know something we don't. Anything in there? Hey! He actually joined him! Hey! Hey! Hello. You guys gonna play together? Yeah. Thanks for making this happen, kid. <laughs> wow. Uh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Like, I came up with a plan and did something good. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. Introducing you two is like... I meant to help out two strangers and I did. And now you're gonna play together and fall in love. <laughs> what? No. I'm in a long-term monogamous relationship. I'm not in the market. And my son takes up most of this my intention. Oh, did, did, did I make it weird? You made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. Hey, Deep Hollow Hollerers. Nice achievement. Yeah! I did it! Hey, more posters. This one in here before. Yeah, found them backstage. Can't believe they're still intact. Must be 60, 70 years old. The original Deep Hollow Hollerers. Hollerers. Try saying that three times fast. Okay, let's say that three times fast. Deep Hollow Hollerers. No, I can't even. I can't even. Deep Hollow Hollerers. Deep Hollow Hollerers. Or her. Deep Hollow Hollerers. DHH, 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 who are they? Jeez, kid, how long have you lived there? I'm 20. You look younger. You'll appreciate that later in life. The deep holler, God damn it! <laughs> the DHH were, were the premier dance band in Deep Hollow County. This was their club. Four of them, violin, sax, tuba, accordion, polkas, waltzes, old tunes from the hills, 20s through the 40s, took this down through some hard times. They were on that famous anthology of Ap uh, Appalachian music from the 60s. Yep, big piece of local history. What happened to them? Oh yeah, word story there. They got spooky. Or kind of religious? Spooky. Yeah, they talk about taking trips uh, out of their bodies. And we're playing for the ghosts that have been through here. Huh? <gasps> Folks thought they, they were just being weird and poetic, but who knows? They were also getting kind of old. That's weird. In the end, they stopped coming here. And started playing out in the woods. On these little bandbox thingies they built. Or at least that's what people figured. In November of 49, they found them dead way up there. Died of exposure. Fro frost froze them to their instruments. Had to peel them off the ground. 
one of the great what the fuck moments in in Possum Springs history. Holy crap! How have you not heard this story? No, it's just I. Uh, nothing. The world is big and weird. And after they're gone, this place's days were numbered. And now, for the first time in God knows how long, the Oscar B ballroom shall hear music again. <laughs> It's a full house, pigeons appreciate quality. This makes me happy. Save the up in this pool when we're good. Yeah, let's get good. Let's get good! This place could use some good. Well, that's one thing about music. It feels empty space. We did good deeds. We are a good girl. Food donkey, are they ever going to do something about this place? Hey, it's the creep dude. Hey, germ. Hi, my. Totally, what's up? Harder than the obvious. You seem something too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for the attention. No prop. I gotta get home. Where do you live? Across the parking lots up the hill. Back in the woods. Huh. Never been back there. I have. Sure you do. See ya! Sure you do. Sure you do. Sure you do. Sure you do. Sure. Greg Reno, my boy Greg. Hey, man. Hey. How you holding up? Got a splitting egg ache. Uh, feel like I barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Wake me up somehow. Hey! Whoa. Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm awake now. So what are you up to today? Just saying hey. Hey! Hmm. So there's the society whatever. Okay, and there's uh, Angus looking for whatever. But I don't know about Bea, so let's go see Bea, see what's going on. Let's see. Hey, Bea! Whoa. Whoa! Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Get tired, had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out then pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. Uh, I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. <clears throat> really? That's all? We can't interact further with- it. I I'm going to run on your counter, Bea. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I- I- I guess, with the achievement that we got last time, that concludes the story arc with Bea, maybe? Hmm... That's... interesting. So that means let's investigate deeper. So we're gonna go with Angus this time. Let's go to the park! Park, let's go. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out, so ghost hunting with Angus. So, you know, the, the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I need evidence. What counts? Ghost walking up and saying hello? 
Not at me saying, hey, I fear fight you're a dead person. Maybe a zombie or a freaking sign. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode is of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm Mai and I saw a ghost and this is Angus who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus and this is Mai. She's a crazy person. <laughs> okay, sure. Nice interaction right there. The park. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up there uh, to play frisbee. I got hit at a teed with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and Mia were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. Let's go. Me and Angus. Angus being frozen solid, I think. Posted. Do not feed. Or touch the wildlife. Well, clearly. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up there. You can uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place, huh? Our all kind of weird stuff back up in the quark. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout cab on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. I'm just looking at you. Big tall nerdy guy. You okay there? I'll keep an eye on you. Not abandoning. Let's go, buddy. Let's stick together. Not getting caught off guard. Should probably walk instead of deal dallying like that. <sighs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I gotta ask my. It's, it's all. Sorry, God, wait for me. You have an inhaler? Yeah, but save that for emergencies. I've been slow as an emergency. What is this thing? It's like lime kill, I think. Limes? Limestone. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone is weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. Millions of years ago. So like this was all underwater or something at one point. No way. I mean rocks don't lie. Like right from where we're standing. There were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Up! Can I go there? Okay, no, 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 let's not abandon Angus! <sighs> Phew. Need to take a break? No, I'm okay, I'm okay. No problem. So if this place was underwater, where did the water go? I don't know, to the ocean, I guess. Like, the earth is always shifting, so mountains get all pushed up. Where it used to be just flat ground. Heard, because things are so boring nowadays. I think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened. Find out about labor. Where'd it go? Cool, cool. Hmm. So this was all underwater. Really? <sighs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, Ancient sea creature, rock, or whatever. Stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. Not good. I was 
dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. I love dinosaurs. Who doesn't? Things were so scary and cool back then. We die in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Injured creatures could eat us, no problem. We got for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. In time you expose dangerous thing is less dangerous. Most things at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah. We're almost to the top. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. Double loading. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier than when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. Used to be open back then. Hmm. Where did it go? Not far now. Just up ahead. Let's go. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were. Uh, I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre. Like labor strike thing. Where it was like the Minervis National Guard. I've been back in town like a hundred years ago. Where are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miters. I didn't want them buried in town. Oh, uh. There are like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. <laughs> Just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. I'm not leaving you. If you get scared or pass out from, you know, exhaustion, I'm here. Save you. I'll save you. I think we're gonna sit. Yeah. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. Can't see town from here. It's all of us beyond whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. Nice night, yeah. Back at school I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish I could never remember them other than... Uh, I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together and you told us all about them? It's not a thing that happened. Oh, wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed of. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations, you tell me about them. Okay then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just once I remember. Or I dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazakov? Yep, yeah, science teacher. He lives in the Hunger Hill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool, telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Will I teach him about stars? And the constellations I learn with Chazakov? <gasps> really? Oh no, don't tell me I have to drag them all. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to the church? Weddings and funerals and the longest night, basically. 
don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Next one! It's a whale, and it's got like the world on its back. Wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that really, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's legitimately upsetting. You would have wondered why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. You saw a whale and was like, it needs to be carrying something. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. It could start. Who knows? Any other thing? Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle of this is I. Looking at you. Okay, that's a... I know this one a little from like Frog Rock Goblin covers. I think the world ends when it rings. That makes sense, it's gonna be really loud. There's no sound in space. I mean, like, basically no sound usually. That sounds really scary for some reason. Well, at least it means. We're not gonna get wrong to dead by a bell. Ah, at least. a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? No? It was like a whole bunch of stories. There was this person, Adina, and... Oh yeah, Adina in the frozen lake. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like shiny things, was good at getting through the forest was really good at stealing. Oh wow, yeah, I used to call him Ascat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his buddy and became immortal or something. Huh, decent. Extremely decent. We're like, way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. No, 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 it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts, or oh god, or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them, and people have really tried. Did you ever? Well, when I was a kid, tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Craig has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? My dad didn't like me, I think, but my mom didn't either. Uh, and like, uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad, he, he used to hit me a lot. And my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which is why I really, really like cooking now. She like shoved me into the pantry and slapped the door real hard. And all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. It's awful. She locked me in here for like a day at a time or something. All overnight. So I like tried to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unmatch the door. It didn't work, is my guess. Did you ever tell anybody? 
Twilight, I started feeling guilty for two for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. I being abused? Because that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Uh, question. Can I go kick all their asses? Like, I've got experience in it. I can fucking some, sh some shit up, man. Well, my mom is kind of old now, and uh, still I have to visit her sometimes. I have, I have a brother, he's overseas in the army, and my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is, or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. I guess I should want to give you a hug forever now. Well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't. Like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. This thing got like psychic abilities in the pantry. I'm mean, even really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. I joined a skept skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. But it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or no. I don't know. Save me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can like make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah, no ghosts or gods. So like, I feel like I've been through that. I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Uh, well, so like the constellations, I don't believe that there is a well out there. But I, I believe that the stars exist, and that people put the well there. Like, I don't know, look at that drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns, and we like really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to. So I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they find God, but like, God found them, like, when they were having bad times like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry, but a few years later, Greg did. So like, stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us. This well is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, I guess. There's a go- There's the ghost! The ghost is there! I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. I don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. Let's analyze the form of this guy first. He... he looks like he could be... It looks like a beak, maybe? I really don't know, it looks like a beak on his face. Holy shit, holy shit! What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god, that's the ghost! I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Alpha Reich? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! My no, I saw you. Okay, well we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma? I got an inhaler, the good kind too. No one heaven on or hurt can stop me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Deep breaths, in, out. All right. Run! 
does he didn't even move. he runs he didn't even turn around to look at us you okay big guy I'll be okay in a few minutes I'll put out so that was it that was the ghost or where the hell we live so you know they really got lots of kids to have parties back there. I mean, the party went to where uh, Ewa drew up. Uh, it wasn't too far from there. Why does nobody... Oh, oh our headache. Our headache is taking a lot. What's wrong? Do you need me to pull over? My head. Jeez. Damn it, phone! <sighs> mm -mm. Back to it. Sorry about that. Okay, well, let's get you on. No. I need to talk to everyone tonight. What? All of us. I need all of us. <laughs> Thanks for light. Come in. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the things. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost following me. Like, it keeps showing up. When you go out to, like, investigate it. For all of those times, it could have been a random person. No, I can, like, feel it. In my head. What do you think I freaked out earlier? I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines? Like you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out? I get migraines. And my, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently, and I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Tell me about it. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up in the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. Well, he, uh, first of all, your headache. I don't think that'll help. Maybe, I know it's maybe stress, but. I don't think you're up for it right now. I'll go alone. You're really gonna go up. I go up past the basketball court. It's late, dude. What do you, what do you all care? You don't believe in me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts. But I believe in you. Aw, oh, dude! Let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that. But you said it better. Oh, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. Rod's loss. Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. Alright, let's hunt some ghosts. I've been on a night hike in a long time. You gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I've got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Fuck, Angus is psychic. But I, but he says blocks it. Ooh. No clues, but Angus saw him too! Have I ever been up there? Fences work. 
No, people were up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just all junk and trees and animals. What is it, dear? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Praying for what? Dead people? Catching us? Killing us? What's up with you, bear? Well, we're getting into the dark side now. Is that the old mine? Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. Remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How did I even get all, all this back up in there? Uh, what's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out there. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here in the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, my. No, I'm fine. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. Are you a pansy? Yeah. There's nothing to be afraid of. We need to go. Man up. Now it's getting ominous. What the? Huh? Oh my god. Bruh. Bruh, what the hell is this? <laughs> God. No, no. A uh, hell, he's awake here already. Anyone got any juice? No, no, guys. Oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Zerf, you knew this was going to happen. You knew it hit the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you were in on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned it up to it. Nerf, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left the goddamn art in front of the clay clack. Because if you gun knows what's gonna happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was your screw up. Ah, his leg stuck. It wasn't like you could have uh, called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you'd call me, Lev. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got a family. Lev, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about J Janie and the girls. They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. Dave, Rick, Benny, guys, you know me! Alright, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerf. You know we got no choice. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a kill trip on us. No, no, no! Hold him still. No! Ah! Hold still, this will go as your if. <laughs> Alright, he's free. Lerf. <laughs> Lerf, ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and. <laughs> I oh hell, let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerf. Nah, got his bones are taken out. <gasps> the, the hell? Shit! 
Shit. My, my Barofsky? Run! Crap a -roni. Oh, it's a minigame now. Okay, sure. Okay, and this is a run now. Okay, what? Yeah, okay, this is a minigame. Sure. I need to jump at the right time. Great. I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, God. This is like the KKK or something. Was, was that a gunshot? Part 4, the end of everything. Uh, guys? Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Mm, I like go over the plots of books I read. Oh, look at the smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been, in order. Wow. Alright, well. Oh, we're playing as bear? Yo! Yo! Dude, I, I'm, dude I'm off. I'm off. I'm, I'm gonna leave this for another episode, dude. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Whoa. Okay, this is like a cult or something. This is getting crazy. Whoa. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. That will help tremendously. God, this is getting intense. And I'll see you next time. See ya!